Now that we have a basic intuition about polynomial regression, let's have some hands-on view onto this. Let's execute something based on that and how different it is from normal linear regression. So we will try to do over here is we will first try to implement a normal linear regression model and then implement a polynomial regression model. Now this data set is very small so we are not going to do train test split. Rather what we are going to do is we are going to just check out from our graphs how well our model has been fitted out. So let's start by importing our libraries. So we have our libraries numpy, pandas and matplotlib. Let's do matplotlib n9. Let's execute it up. Executes just well and let's import our data set. For this we are going to use the data set of temperature and pressure. So the data set name is, let's look into the data set name, it's tempressure.csv. Let's copy this, paste it out over here as this is in the same directory. Now if I check data, so you can see that this data set has only six values, six rows. So for this basic program or just to have a look into how the algorithm works and how you can execute the polynomial regression, this data set will work just fine for me. But first let's drop the S number, the extra column that we have over here. Okay. For dropping out, it's quite simple again. We have to just do data.drop and we have to mention the column name. But let's keep it now and move on to, we'll just not select S number. We'll just start from temperature and pressure. So from temperature, we have to measure out the pressure or predict out the pressure of it. So if temperature is 0, it's 0 0.002, the pressure is. So that will be our data set. X is temperature, Y is pressure. As you have seen that polynomial regulation can only work in a univariate format because we can have the powers of in any one particular feature so that is one of the drawbacks but uh, that shouldn't define how you can use this so let's check out data or describe something which I prefer most of the time and data dot info this gives me an insight that I have no null values in my data set now if I plot a scatter plot plt.scatter and what I need to pass over here is just my temperature and I need to pass my pressure and data is equal to data. You can see that the distribution in this data set is somewhere in a U shape. Okay, so if you fit a straight line in this so if I try to fit a straight line in between so it wouldn't be the best fit of this model else for this kind of model these kind of data what we need is more of an polynomial expression so let's do the same over here so let's take x now this way which I'm showing you right now to get x and y is something which I use rather than using the older steps where we are creating a data frame or an NP array. What I do is data dot I lock and inside of it we are going to pass all the rows. It is just telling that I need all the rows and the columns starting from index number one to index number two dot values. So I need all the values. Okay, it will just give me the index of all the rows and the column ranging from index number one that is temperature to index number two that is pressure. So pressure will not come so we have only one temperature. So okay and the same thing for y. y is equal to data or i log. I need all the columns okay and which one my column will be the second one that is pressure okay that is 0 1 2 0 is as a number temperature is 1 and temperature pressure is 2 so dot values if i check x and then if i check y so rather than doing 
NPRA and data.ilog just does everything and converts into an array rather than in, uh, importing numpy over here. Now let's start by plotting a simple linear regression model. So for this we have from a scalar dot model selection. By now I believe that uh, you guys will be much worse with how to use all of these. So let's import linear. Oops, there's a typo. Okay, and let's call link is equal to linear regression, and we are going to bring dot fit x comma y. So we have successfully fitted our model. Now what we need to do is let's predict it out. So I'm going to do s where y is equal to that is a simple regression prediction. Okay, so it will be lin dot predict. Now let's plot a graph for this. So let's copy out this code. First I plotted out and scatter plot. So let's delete this and show you. So this is a scatter plot. Then I have plotted out a normal line plot that is x and s r y. Okay, first one was x and y. Okay, x is the temperature, y is pressure. So that's the actual values, the data set that we are having. And the second one that will be a straight line will be the one that is predicted by a linear regression model that is s r y. So let's run this. So you can see that the prediction that I am getting the straight line is not quite well. So for 60, if I want to predict it out, it should be somewhere in between 0 to 0 0.0 to 0 0.05. But if I try to predict it out, it is a much different case. So let's copy this, paste it and inside of this, let's pass 60. So it's 0. 8, 9. So the actual value of this is completely different. The actual value of y is much different than this. So for 60, it should be somewhere over here and we are getting something of 0 0.08. So linear regression is not the best model over here. In these kind of scenarios, we use a polynomial regression. So in our next video, we are going to start with the polynomial regression.